everyone. Welcome to Pinoy Nurse Portal, your portal to the ins and outs of working as a Pinoy nurse in the United States. Welcome back. Welcome. This is Rebecca. In today's vlog, we are going to talk about visa screen. Okay? Napakadaming questions na pwede niyong itanong regarding visa screen. There are a lot of confusing uh, information about visa screen in the internet right now. So on, in today's vlog, we will try to dissect everything that's useful in uh, applying for a visa screen. Ang unang question niyo maybe is who needs a visa screen? Number two, do I need NCLEX to apply for visa screen? Do I need IELTS to apply for visa screen? What is CGFNS? And what is CGFNS qualifying exam? What's the difference? What's the timeline? Ano ang mga requirements? Paano kukunin ang mga requirements? Saan at gaano katagal ang waiting time? Okay? So if you're interested, please stick around. Here we go. It's all about you. It's all about me. It's all about what we do. Okay, so the first question is, who needs a visa screen? If you are a healthcare employee, healthcare worker in the Philippines, and that includes you as a nurse, kailangan mo mag-apply ng visa screen to work in the United States, but it's not limited to RNs. There are other healthcare professions that also need a visa screen. Isusulat ko na lang sa uh, description down below because this vlog is about visa screen for nurses, okay? Okay, next, let's talk about the requirements. The first requirement is your high school diploma. Anong kailangan mong malaman dito? First, please don't let your parents laminate your high school diploma, okay? Kakailanganin nyo ang inyong high school diploma, okay? Number two, it has to be translated in English. Kasi naalala ko yung high school diploma natin was written in Filipino, pero meron siyang translation sa ilalim nung, ano, in, nung Filipino words. But if you're watching this and you're not from the Philippines and you're trying to apply Apply for a visa screen your high school diploma has to be translated in English okay. and another thing about the high school diploma is if you finish high school over 10 years ago like me na matanda na, uh, you don't have to uh, submit the high school diploma it will be waived doon sa mga requirements okay next requirement is your English qualifying exam in my case I took the IELTS and one thing to remember when taking the IELTS is you have to apply for the academic IELTS Make sure you take the academic, not the general. Kasi yun ang kailangan para mag-apply ng visa screen for nurses. For nurses, it's important that your speaking score is 7, okay? And your total band score is 6. Point five. So work on that, especially on your speaking, okay? But the English qualifying exam is not only limited to IELTS, but there are other English qualifying exam that you could look at. And this includes the Cambridge English B2 first, C1 Advanced or C2 Proficiency Exam. Next uh, is the IELTS. That's what I took and most of my friends took IELTS. Next is MET, Michigan English Test. OET, Occupational English Test. Pearson's PTE Academic, uh, TOEFL IBT or Test of English as Foreign Language Internet Based Test. Okay? And the other one, meron pang isa, is TOEIC. That's Test of English for International Communication. Okay? I have a separate vlog about IELTS, which I will link in the description down below. At ito yung thumbnail. All right, next requirement. Meron akong kodigo dito. It is your license slash registration slash diploma information. Ano ang ibig sabihin nito? Maliwanag, si Jeff and S will need your current license and your college diploma okay so whether you finish your nursing degree more than 10 years or over 20 years kailangan ng cgfns the copy of your diploma and the copy of your transcript of records and the copy of your prc license if you're from the philippines or your license from your country because basically the function of cgfns is to authenticate and validate your information they want to make sure that your license is not revoked or suspended they want to make sure that your license is current and they want to make sure that you indeed graduated from bachelor of science in nursing 
Okay, next requirement is nursing knowledge. And this is specifically for nurses only, okay? Because like I said previously, uh, visa screen is not only limited to nurses. Visa screen is also required for other healthcare profession. I think physical therapy, if you want to come to the United States, you need to apply for a visa screen. Hindi, I think, I'm sure. Physical therapists, audiologists, at madami pang iba, I'll write it down in the description down below. But of all the professions na kailang mag-apply ng visa screen, the nurses that needs a qualifying exam. Ano yung mga qualifying exam? You can either take the CGFNS or the NCLEX. Okay, next. Now let's talk about the difference between CGFNS and the CGFNS qualifying exam. There's a big difference. Back in the Philippines, I often hear or I used to hear nurses as among themselves, nag CG kanaba. What they meant was, did you already take the CGFNS exam? Now, in this day and age, that question may not be pertinent or relevant anymore because some states in the US don't require you to take the CGFNS qualifying exam and there are eight states that don't require you to do that i have a separate vlog about that this is the thumbnail and i will link the description down below so you could go watch it okay now let's differentiate cgfns and the cgfns qualifying exam the qualifying exam as the word it says qualifying exam so you have to take the examination and then next and what is cgfns cgfns is a validating authenticating body that will validate your paperwork that includes your diploma your transcript of records and your license from your country for you to get a visa screen okay so two different things so whether you can bypass the cgfns qualifying exam to get a visa screen you can never bypass going to cgfns which is the body the authenticating body for you to take uh, for you to apply for visa screen the next requirement is the complete transcript of records what does this mean katulad ko when i started my nursing uh, education i started in feu that's far eastern university shout out sa lahat ng graduate sa feu hindi po ako pumasa ng battery exam okay that's why i moved to metropolitan hospital college of nursing yay doon ako graduate so in my case i need the papers from FEU both and Metropolitan Hospital College of Nursing. Okay. To make your life easier, let's say you already have a master's degree and you also took, uh, let's say, a different course before proceeding to uh, nursing. Let's say you graduated physical therapy. Okay, I know a lot of nurses who took physical therapy pr first, they graduated from it and then proceeded to taking BSN. Okay, they don't need your paperwork or your transcript of records for your PT. Okay, and they also don't need. Um, your master's na paperwork or your transcript of records okay they don't need that don't make your life complicated go straight doon lang sa nursing curriculum na graduate niyo the transcript of records for your nursing degree is all they need in cgfns to give you a visa screen okay so let's go to the technical uh, requirement kailangan mo ng passport photo okay the thing to remember with passport photo is it has to be within six months na pag apply mo ng uh, visa screen hindi pwede nung two years ago pa just because you look better two years ago okay it has to be current another technical question how much does it cost right now it will cost you a whopping 665 dollars or the equivalent in your country okay that's the first time application that's why i suggest be very strategic because your visa screen will expire within five years five years lang po ang validity ng visa screen okay so let's say <clears throat> you applied for your visa screen and uh, you have an IELTS. Let's say after five years, your visa screen expired and you were not able to work as a nurse in the United States, but you already have an old visa screen. Your question might be, do I need to take the IELTS again? The answer is, this is good news, no. All you have to do is pay for renewal, which will cost you a whopping $340 as we speak. Okay, next question is, how do I process all 
all the requirements and all this paperwork okay be very strategic i think you'll be able to process and apply for all the documents you need in one day go to your college to ask for your transcript of records and your college will know what to do they've done this before lalo na kung old yung college niyo the big universities they have a lot of nurses who came over to the united states they already know what to do just make sure um call them ahead of time ask them the requirements okay that's very important para hindi masaya ang trip niyo next is go to prc okay prc saan na nga ba yung prc menjola ba tama ba malapit yun sa feu alam ko may dunkin donut yan noon nung kapanahunan ko and go to prc and when you go to prc just tell them what you need tell them you are applying for a visa screen and they already know what to do you need your to bring your passport and you need to bring your license they will ask you some fees kahit sa college ninyo meron yang fee kasi walang free sa philippines okay at saka nakalimutan kong sabihin your college will send it directly to cgfns for now you have to physically go to prc bring your license a passport or a form of id to make sure lahat na nang pwede yung dalhin na id dalhin yung sa prc okay they will ask you to pay for some fees and they will ask you to buy a stamp kasi kailangan mo ang ipadala yung papeles na makukuha mo sa PRC. You could either choose a DHL, FedEx, or a regular mail. And if you have an experience recently in applying for a visa screen, uh, please comment down below. Okay, next, how long does it take for the CGFNS to process? It will take you about 12 weeks kung walang aberya if there are no other issues in your paperwork. As soon as CGFNS receives your paperwork, count up to 12 weeks okay it may be longer than that but that's the timeline in their website okay another question can you expedite yes of course if you have the money you can pay 595 dollars to expedite your paperwork well, that is five days what does it mean five days it means five days from the time they received all your paperwork from the time they authenticated your paperwork okay so okay next so how do i apply for visa screen and dami na natin pinag-usapan hindi pa natin natatakal yung how do i apply go to cgf cgfns.org the website is here or in the link below madali lang naman yon cgfns.org okay and once you go to their website they will prompt you to uh, open or start an account they will need your email and once you put your information doon sa website nila the cgfns database will be able to detect whether you're there to renew your visa screen or whether you're there for a first time applicant okay next your next question might be is there a different way to apply for a visa screen na hindi ko personally kailangan mag-apply ng visa screen yung bang ayaw mong mag-work ayaw mong lumuas ayaw mong pumila sa prc and all that stuff there is a different way and that is to find a recruiting agency like my case i did the shortcut okay why work hard if you can be more efficient plus when i was applying to come to the united states i'm a broke nurse in the philippines okay magkano bang sahod natin sa philippines my god i cannot even afford to eat jollibee back in the philippines the only time i could eat jollibee was on paycheck i mean on payday at saka talagang budget na budget pa yun ha libre pa yung bahay namin dati ha? i didn't even have to pay for a mortgage or a rent back then but I was still broke and that was my big motivation to come to the United States and that's why I applied through an agency and I was lucky enough to find a really really good one they paid for everything they even paid me when I passed my IELTS and NCLEX they gave me a bonus basta lahat ginawa nila okay and I will have a separate vlog we will discuss about that and kung paano ko ba nahanap yung agency na iyon okay and there you have it guys I hope na clarify ko yung iba yung questions regarding applying for a visa screen kung hindi naman at lalo kayong naguluhan please comment down below and guys please follow me on my social media account this is my facebook account and this is my instagram account my instagram is my personal and my facebook i'm trying to do my best to keep it uh, nursing lang okay and i have to work on that kasi lately na humaling ako sa bts okay thank you so much for watching this vlog please don't forget to like share and subscribe and please subscribe guys one of my videos has 1000 views pero 120 lang yat ang subscribers ko why naman okay it's free i don't charge you for <laughs> subscribing to my channel thank you so much see you on my next vlog